Hey guys, this is Formulka with another episode of Europe as Ice 4 as the Byzantium and we are invading Lithuania and we are fighting Sweden as well as Poland and the plan is I think just taking the Kievan course releasing Kiev and giving them their culture course back that's pretty good pretty good pretty good if I say so myself let's continue and I will take this as my own, all of that. I know it's Ruthenian, so it should like be the Kiev's stuff, but I want it. It's just my petty thing. I want to own everything that's on the coastline. And this will basically seal the deal. And I want an ev Evazal over here that I can feed the Lithuania and Poland. It sucks that Pol if we white piece out Poland, we will be able to attack them in five years. That's really nice. Uh, I may take like war reparations from them because war reparations are kind are kind of cool, nice. Still making three. These guys are worthless. From Poland, it would be a little bit more. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Maybe not. But the war with Castile is coming up as well. They are still at war with Portugal, which they are losing because they can't do anything. I'm pretty sure their colonies are being sieged by the Portuguese. Well, no, they are not. Oh no, they are actually sieging the Portuguese colonies down here. <sighs> Dumb colonizers spreading themselves too thin. Okay, this army is not really doing much. Oh, Aragon moved in with a little bit more, but I don't think it will be enough. Because. So Aragon, I think, sieged to one of these provinces, and now he's going home. No, they were actually squished. Maybe I can help them. Yeah. Get lost! You are not squishing my Aragon stuff. You will be the one who will be squished. Bastard. I helped! Neat. Okay, Poland. Want out? He wants out. Uh, I could make him concede defeat, but it would make the peace deal last a little bit longer. I don't want that. And we don't need this either. More reparations would be nice. It would be nice to, if it told you, like, approximately what it will give you. But... This is also, like, a not victory, but I don't really care about Poland right now. Get out. Imperialism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the new cool CB we gained. Right after we finished, we clicked the war button. Because I was too impatient. Okay, it would be cool to peace out Sweden, but they have no reason to peace out. Like, none. Even with conceded defeat, it's not even close. So limit our possible peace deal with Mr. Okay, we lost the claim on Fanch. That's something I don't like. Hmm. Yeah, Vazal of Adal. It's only one base tax, but we have three diplomats. Let's refabricate this claim. And Hegias as well. Oh, Nasht. Alcarac. Uh, they are like surviving only on on the whim of my um, damaged mind. Hmm. Oh, a new follower, Fabu ninety nine. Welcome aboard, and thank you so much for following. What's the time? Ah, I have to wake up, but not that early, so it's fine. Completely fine. We are building this up. We really have to help him with these guys. Did you actually like core everything already? He did, so he's actually fabricating claims. What? Like he must I double checked this like multiple times and he never did it. Okay, if you want Afghanistan, I will feed it to you. But this means I will never annex him. No, I will annex him and then I will create a new vassal and I will feed him Afghanistan. Because I don't want that. Mm. And it's all because they 
I like introduced this. Uh, this is considered our province. That you have to pay for the annexation, the extra cost that you would pay for the coring cost. It's not that like new, but it 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 wasn't like that before. That's why everyone like vassalized Tunis and Morocco and all that good jazz. Uh, not anymore. That make, doesn't make any difference. Just the difference is only spending diplo, extra diplo instead of admin bar power. Okay, in the next four years we have to finish this war, so we can annex Bogdan, and we have to also improve relations with this guy, which we are doing right now. Yep. There was some kind of army over there. I saw that, but that's nothing. Okay. <laughs> I really hope I don't have to invade Sweden. I should have broke. No, they don't have alliance with Sweden. It's Lithuania. I may even spend 10% of the war score to make them stop their alliance with Sweden. <clears throat> and seriously, where the hell is the Swedish army? I've seen, I've seen one cannon. One cannon. That's it. They vassalized it. No. Why isn't this sieged? Oh, oh they, are, they are working on that, but... Hmm. Exactly, Banaru! That's exactly what I'm doing, and I've just noticed that you were writing for quite some time, and I didn't welcome you in the stream! Oh, is it Banaru? Maybe it's Banaru. I've been wrong before. Okay, so let's check out the peace deal. I don't really care, care about Sweden. I'm not going to invite in, not invite them, but invade them not yet. And it's like nothing. So then we want all of the Kiev, Kiev stuff, which is from here to this place. So we can release him as my vassal. Mm hmm It's only these five provinces then. He would almost give it to me. What else do I want? Hmm. I like how he surrounded Moscow. <laughs> but you know what? We can get this sooner. And the next war we will just feed Kiev. I will take one more and give it to Kiev directly. If it's Ruthenian culture. This is really cheap, so maybe I will take a couple. Like these three base tax provinces. You should buy them both. And if he doesn't, okay, I'll have to hold on to it for a while. But he should start fabricating claims all over the place. Like Bogdan started. So, okay, let's unpause and let's continue. Okay, Tuscany, well done. Yes. Still missing two guys. My OCD does not allow me to move my guys until they are full stack. I will ruin them in the war like that, but... Oh, that's true. Livonian Order is in there as well. They are Vassal of Lithuania. I don't want to break that Vassalich. That would just mean that they would attack them or Sweden would take them. <laughs> I still can't believe I missed all the money. All that beautiful money. Also, morale, morale, anyone? No, it's a drill, anyone? That's right. Seven point seven. Hell yeah. I think France is like ten. <laughs> so yeah, that's still the glooming war with France in the future. You guys can go out down here with the rebellions. This is like on sieging that shit, but uh, no leaders to give. You don't need a leader. Mm. Like if you can do this, you should be able to just pick up the leader directly. It's not like an oh, where is he going? Can I crush that? Uh, should be able to crush that. I know I've did, no, abandoned the siege, but it's, it should be fine. 
Because the, they white pieced out. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what I call a worthless war. You know what? It's only because... I wouldn't even call myself a beast. I would call, like, DDI Jake is a beast. But... I'm not bad. It's just... After... A long ass... Time of repetition. Oh, actually, I can tell you how much. Uh, 700 hours. You'll pick up a thing or two. <laughs> so, that's been squished. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, let's squish these guys as well. And I'm still not 100% sure this, this will work. Especially in the mountains. It's only desert, so it should be fine. Let's try it. And these guys will be close by. <sighs> Austria is fighting someone over here. Oh my god, they are going to lose that. <laughs> Pomerania, Netherlands, and I think I saw Brandenburg there, but I think the, the Austria actually killed it. Just before the reinforcements arrived, but now they will die. Will this be a squish? Let's check it out. No, they repeat it. Oh well. Okay, will you give me this, Mr. Lithuania? He will give me that. But I want those two, three base tax provinces, right? Yeah. This is Bill Russian. Oh, these two, okay. Nice. Mm, he will still give me that. I can peace out. So keep Sweden from the coalition at least for a while. And in like a couple of years I can attack Poland and start feeding Kiev. So that's really nice. Yeah, it's overextension, it's fine. How is our calling process? Almost done, look at that. I will wait, just to be sure. I'll wait for five days. Offense is nice, it's fast to claims. Yiddish girl. Ah, oh, I'm on that province. So I have to destroy that. Can I take it if it's under siege is the question. I'm not sure. So that's no extension. And the answer is... I can. Okay. Oh, it removed those two provinces. Okay. Novgorod Seversky. Then there is like the Nizhny of Novgorod and Novgorod proper. Okay. I'm not sure. Kiev doesn't have extra coring costs, right? It would show up over here. No, it doesn't. If they pick up local nobility, they will. But well, whatever. Money? He has no money. Uh, and uh, treaties with Sweden. Oh, he's not going to go there. I really, want, I really don't want to fight Sweden the next time. But this is only for 10 years. So he will reforge that alliance anyway, I think. So it doesn't make any difference. It's not like Sweden did anything in this war, really. So I think this is fine. Those war reparations would be nice, but nah. Give me! Bam! There was a lot of aggressive expansion. This may push Russia into some kind of coalition against me. Okay, boys, let's go home. I can both both go there. So we are not at war. Let's release Kiev. Ah, I really wanted to create, like, a... Uh, I will do it over here, in HRE, we will create a client state when we attack Austria and stuff. I want to create subject. I want to create Kiev. Five provinces? Oh, that's right. I just don't want them to get anything down here. And... This is Crimea, that's fine. They will have one, two, three, four, five provinces. Yeah, I don't know why... 
These scores are swapped. It's like this score. Oh, this score was used to be there, and I'm maybe the maybe the patriots created this or nationalists in some kind of rebellion. They can't. You can't form nation if you are if you are um, subject nation. You have to be independent. There they go. I don't have a diplomat, but they should buy these. Or I will call them. It will hurt, but hopefully they will not. It will not be necessary. And they should start fabricating things all over the place. So that's one. Let's go for Russia. Kazan is still not fabricating any claims. They are worthless bastards. But I will feed them Russia. Also, in annexing Bogdan should be a thing. It's not there. It's, n it's not nearly there. I can send them gift. So they are 25. And I can throw them a royal marriage. No, I can't because they are Sunni. They are, are only, I think, Sunni. Uh, Vazal. We have a Catholic Vazal over here. He's close, so we can run marriage him, but nothing else. Look at that beautiful Kiev. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can't, sadly. I would have to release them. Kazan wants real marriage. Uh, whatever. It lowers your legitimacy a little bit, but it will increase it faster then. Uh, they should be orthodox. And because this is cut, this is orthodox actually. Where is a Catholic province? One of these is Catholic. They managed to convert it. Yeah, and I don't want to lose the claims. So let's check out the claims. Uh, Fifty-one. I know at least some of these will be soon. Fifty-six. Fifty-five. 42, it's all fine. 39, okay. So, well, I only have to convert one and then Yiddish go. And Crimea as well. Those are some feisty, feisty Sunnis. And we can core the rest. Look how expensive they are because they have this stupid local nobility. Uh, yes, 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 okay. The addition. Now oh, we have the diplomats. Okay, would you buy a province? He would buy a province. Enjoy your new province. And I will just feed him everything. <laughs> maybe not the Crimean course, maybe even that, those. Why do not? He will be forever spoiled. Mm, no admin power. Yeesh. I don't even have enough to call the rest. Oh my god. 287 and that's with a claim. Jesus Christ. I would have to wait 50 years for this core to go away. Well, those go away actually. Yep, 50 years. That's insane. 300 hundred admin points. I think I will have to hold on to that province for a while. It's lucky that we are not going to core much more. Like the last provinces I'm going to core are a couple in France over here. And actually the Portuguese ones over here. And this one. And this will be it. That's it. That's all. Whoop! Let's... Okay, it's still truce. For less than a year. So we should start moving into position. Are these rebels dealt with? No. And this will improve relations as well, if we defeat them. That's kinda nice. It's taking so goddamn long. Okay, grab a decent leader. Smash! Hulk smash! Crimea shall never exist. You will pay for the price of your province. <laughs> Okay, let's convert. Who is running away? I've never seen that. I've seen this in Crusader Kings 2. But I have never seen this in EU4. 
that the rebels are running away. No, I go through a uh, missionary over there. <laughs> Die. Dead. Okay. So you guys will all embark on the mission to Castile. Would you buy another province, please? He would. There we go. And he's he's start he's starting to create his own beautiful army. He's sadly eastern, even though he was created from westernized Lithuania by westernized Byzantium. Oh, look at that tag! Was it like that before? Holy shit! Look at that! Also, Lemson, are you calling that shit? He is. He is. Especially as we didn't give them these provinces to Kor, so that's something. Nice. Where are my transports? Over here. Maybe I should build a couple more. We need all of this in Castile. Because they have a freaking huge army. I'm not sure France will join us in this one. Because they are already in their own war. Uh, they are in debt. But they trust us a lot. So they would still join. But they, there is the truce. As soon as the truce ends, they will join the war against Castile. And we will most likely feed Aragon like all of this. They have one last core to do. High five, Aragon. Well done. They are just... Oh, yes. They should become really potent vassal like Tuscany. It's so tiny. Look at that. But they were one of the best vassals we ever had. <laughs> so we should take a couple more. And then the 32. With only one transport fleet. Oh, and these guys can do whatever they want. Go here and get ready for the blockade of Castile. Yeah, Hansa has grown a lot. They are just... They've defeated Sweden. <laughs> like, yeah, and Norway is still around. They have half of Iceland <laughs> and one province in Sweden. Also, I've noticed one thing of the stream. There is a Scottish colony over here in <laughs> New Zealand <laughs> and over here in in uh, Australia as well. <laughs> I was like, wow, why doesn't... Like, everything was yellow, right? I was like, well, why isn't this part of the colonial nation? Oh, that's why. Scotland is safe because <laughs> England is in personal union. <laughs> they were, like, chilling around. I could... Were they vassalize? No. They are too big. But that would be kinda awesome. Vassalize Scotland and feed them the whole England. Oh. Like from the middle of <laughs> Mediterranean. Come on. Okay, let's go to four times four speed. Someone declared war on Russia. <laughs> Bash Bashkiria. Which is where the hell is Bashkiria? I know one of these guys, one of the S Siberian miners declared war on them one, once. Oh, this guy declared war on Russia. <laughs> Go! <laughs> you can do it! You can do it all, guys! Everyone can beat up Russia. Aragon is hostile to me? Oh, you are right! Okay, let's improve relations with this guy. Wow, I was just... Wow. Thank you for the information, I missed it completely. Get on the boat. And get over here. Hmm. Like, there's really no reason. The aggressive expansion will be gone in, like, three years. So it should be fine. They may start the coalition against me, the Castillo. I hope not, but it may happen. You have to slow boat my guys over there. They could actually like move here ish. It will make it faster. There's still this one dude on Malta. And this guy should be. Yeah, we have to first start uh, integrating Bukhtan before we start that nonsense. Okay, something bad happened over here. Hmm. I wonder. 
They have no heat map over there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, on siege that. You boys will join our other fellas over in Castile. Argon, you don't have to be like that. Why are you. Oh, we're married with friends. Oh, of course. No, it doesn't make much sense, Gustav. I want to feed them a lot, and if they are big enough, they will lose the bonuses from being a marsh. And the, but they will still keep the all the bad stuff, so you can't integrate them and stuff. So it doesn't make really much sense to create m marches. Beautiful statue. I don't need prestige. I would like the money, please. And the prestige. Converting them heretics. Okay. We can call this one. Why, is it, why did this jump? You've seen that, right? This number changed when I clicked it. Please don't be hostile. I will give you a gift. Yeah, he needs a big gift. But he's worth it. We can be buddies. Okay, the ships are coming back. Oh, they're already there. Nice. My dudes are not there yet. Why would you be hostile? I know we are like look, not cap like, but we are close enough, right? Heretics of Yerishko. I need like a hundred for that. Hundred and six. Okay. <laughs> get on the boat. Get over there to Castillo. I can't. I can't imagine anyone doing the world conquest. Like, it must be so hard. Like, you have to be at five wars, and it's just the the amount of logistics is just insane. You have to be basically paused constantly. And I know I'm pausing a lot whenever there is an event, but imagine if there was a lot of these events. And I don't want to be there. We've lost the claims on Castilian provinces. I don't really care. I will feed it to Aragon. This one kind of sucks. No, I, I haven't lost anyone. Any claims over there. And this is plus 200, okay. Start the annexation. Adal against Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia is just... They can't catch a break. <laughs> I wonder if he will uh, create the Medribari instead. If it will flip again to <laughs> to that. Okay, integration. Annex, it's 798. It will take 12 years to annex. If we pick up a statesman, that will be slightly faster. But we are not getting any good like advisors at all. Yeah, let's go with it. We'll create some fresh new vassals over here in Europe. He has been fed already. <laughs> ah, okay, but they are the only ones in the coalition. Hopefully. Please. Oh, this also means that the truce has ended. We need to take Soria and... Uh, Vizcaya. So France will flip the stuff over to us. Okay, we need one more shipment of troops. And then we can attack. Someone else can join the coalition like Russia. That would suck. Oh my god, it would suck. I think it actually like makes sense to attack them. France will join us. And together we should be, be, be able to just beat them up, silly. I still will let them keep the at least one province over here, so they have border. I can go with imperialism. I want to try this CB. I just want to check it out. Also, some uh, 
claims over here I want. Yeah, I have no claims over here. I've only one. I would like to kick them out of this place, but it's not really that necessary. And these are like one base tax, so I will just fabricate claim on on Tirunevale. And we will wait for this one to finish, I guess. And then we will start this. Converting them heretics. What kind of allies do we have? Nice. Don't stay there, you would be squished. I think Aragon likes them more than me. Thirteen colonies declared war on someone. Oh. We have nineteen dudes over here. Oh, they can, they can, they can't because the Portugal has these guys. Um, oh, we have these over here as well. That's true. So, get on the boat. This is the last shipment. <laughs> exactly, Alex. Alex. Adele or Ethiopia? I don't really care about these guys. Like, I could. I've been fabricating claims on them constantly, but I don't really care about them. Uh, and they should like me more if I give them the claims. So that's what I will do, most likely. And then some. So let's go with imperialism. Uh, all these worthless guys will just join. And they are allied with Scotland. But well, that's it. Take capital Toledo. Nice. Do I want anyone else? Nah. Tra-da! My vassals, of course, honored the alliance. Let's put this bad boy in. Uh, I, I don't have a claim on this, but eh, it's only 20. Because it's distance overseas for them. It's kind of cheap to convert. Okay, move in. France is moving in as well. We could take the extra land leader maneuver, but that, that only I think applies to the new leaders you create, and I'm not going to create anyone right now. Uh, yeah, nothing there. The defender of faith, I could grab it. Still six years before I will take up anything, really. Could bring, grab the diplotech before I do that. So cheap. Trade efficiency. Oh, that sounds nice. I don't need Diplo for... Oh, I'm integrating, but it should still be fine. I am making decent Diplo, in diplo gain. Hmm. The trade efficiency will be really nice. Okay. And now I will pick the Defender of the Faith. 500 ducats. And we will get more morale and all that good jazz. And an extra missionary we don't really need. Boom. So our morale is 7.9. I wonder what the morale of Mr. Castillo is over there. But we will find out eventually. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck. Who are you? Light chips. Let's go get them, boys. Should be able to kill them. They run. They run away. But we will just keep them around. Like in the Straits of Gibraltar, maybe? This kind of sucks because France will lose their fleet. Oh my god. They have 5.2 morale. I. Do they have no militaristic ideas? They have offensive. They have quality, so how the hell do you only have 5.2 morale? Okay, I I'm going to test it. I want these to be sieged, though. <laughs> you can use these guys for that, but... Yeah, let's test it. 
somewhere. Uh, still a lot of guys. I really don't want France to start seeking those things before me. I don't think they will. Okay, now we can move out with our best general. Let's try this. Just no, they they squished them. Oh my god, that's not even close. What happened with your morale, Castile? How the hell did you actually defeat the the Portuguese? This is plains, grassland and stuff, okay. Should be able to kick them. Yeah, they actually have 5.2 morale, that's it. They are really, really weak. And they have nowhere to run. So, they will be squished. Uh, yeah, let's squish them, that's preferable to engaging a new army. It's kinda insane if you think about it, how weak Castilian armies are. So weak. Yeah, it is distant overseas, look at that. It is a colony. See? No, it's, not dist it's not distant overseas, but it's considered a colony. That's why it's like a half to core. The client states. Yeah, I want to try that. Ethiopia, full annexation. Okay, Ethiopia is dead. You dead, man? How did you escape me? And how did you outmaneuver me? <laughs> He's running away. Can you run away? Yes. Nice. So just... Oh, he stopped. You bastard! You tricked me! Into attacking you. And... Killing you? Please? Just like, they have no morale. Can we, like, finish this please? Huge losses on all sides. After them. Kill, kill, kill! Please! Die! Oh my god, he has literally no morale. Zero. But he escaped. I guess my arm is too small. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> that. Die. Okay, that's Castilian stuff dead. Except for this guy. It's fine. Okay, now we declared war. I think it's time to end this episode again. Wow, the timer runs out really fast, and every time it's a little bit longer than 30 minutes. Thank you everyone so much for watching, if you liked the video, like it, if you want to see more, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and until next time, bye!